Hi everybody, and welcome back to Project Camper. As the thumbnail suggests, we're going to talk about the Victron Energy Smart Shunk. Now this is the Bluetooth version, so it's obviously the BMV12, and then it's got the Smart written on it. Now this could possibly apply to the non-Smart versions. Basically, on the back of this monitor here, there is a set of terminals. Now those terminals can be fed with a 12 volt power supply and then you have through the settings you can control at what voltage that relay switches on and off. At the moment I've set mine to 14.5 volts to come on and it turns on a little light here. That was just to test it out to make sure it worked. And then it switches off at 13.5 volts. So when the voltage drops, so at the moment we are on 12.65 volts. So the, the circuit or the relay is closed. When the voltage rises to 14.5 for 10 seconds, it opens up the relay and then it gives power to the light. Now what I would like to do, instead of powering this light, I just did that as a test, is run a cable from here all the way to the back in the garage to a 30 amp relay. So I'm using this relay, which is obviously small ampage, to then open up a, another relay in the back. And then that is gonna be for a heating mat, and that's gonna give me warm water. I don't want it to be hot, I just want it to be warm. So. I can just have, when I finish the shower, warm water in the shower and warm water coming out the hot tap. So basically, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, where I put the wires. And then if you want to do it the same, you can just have a light on to show your voltage, you know, instead of the app, or you can do you can you can switch on certain things but obviously i've got a big solar panel on my roof and the idea is when the voltage reaches 14.5 volts it goes into float so in the morning if your battery's already fully charged your whole system the whole all day is going to be on float complete sort of waste of electricity if you know what i mean so i thought i'm going to put that excess power to use so once the solar panel has charged up the battery to 14.5 volts it will then open up a circuit and give me free hot water and when the voltage drops below it'll switch the relay off and it will just alternate until night time so i've got hot water and the batteries are fully charged so it's a win-win situation so i'm going to take this panel off and I'm gonna do the four screws around it. I'm gonna show you how I wired it. Okay, so it just, just gently <clears throat> pulls off. And then you've got four little screws, which I shall undo now. Okay, before I uh, do actually take this apart, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the engine because I have a Victron uh, DC to DC charger. So that will replicate i.e. the voltage going up because it's going to charge the battery at the back and then the relay will click on when it gets to 14.5 volts and to save you watching this go up like gradually I'll just like time lapse it quickly. Okay, so now the engine is running and the voltage should start to climb. Just wait for it to kick in. And there you go. The DC to DC charger has just kicked in. So we'll just wait until it reaches 14.5 volts and then this little ah oh, there you go so it's come on already 
So then I shall turn the engine off and the voltage will drop because I've got my Chinese diesel heater on at the moment and the voltage will drop and the light will turn off. So let's go and turn the engine off. Okay, so the light's still on. The voltage will drop. You should be able to see the light in the corner here. I'll zoom out a bit. There you go. So now the voltage dropped and the light is out. So basically that's going to replicate solar coming in and the relay set in its parameters to certain voltages to turn the relay on and off, which is turns this light on and off. But as I said, I'm going to replace this light with a 30 amp relay. So the relay on this is only small ampage, which then control a bigger amp relay, which will then turn on and off the heating mat or anything else you want to power. So on the back, okay, let's be careful. I have voltage coming in, which is the common, and the voltage going out, which is NC. They just push in. So obviously, <clears throat> be careful here, because it's not 100% finished. This is where your power supply comes from, common. And then the NC goes out to wherever you want it to go. So basically this wire here goes to that light. And then I'm gonna replace this wire with a wire running all the way to the back to another relay. I should put a still uh, photo in and let it go on for a little while and then I'll basically what I'll do is I'll um I'll title the pins for you. Okay so I've disconnected the earth and the positive from the BMV 12 smart monitor. So I've run this wire, which is gonna be a signal wire to another relay in the back of the van. So what I'm gonna do now is because I know it works, I'm gonna put some little terminals on here and hopefully tidy it up and stick them back in there. Right, so I've got these terminals. And what you have in here is what I try and crimp all my uh, ends with, just keeps them nice and neat. So hopefully, something like that will fit in the back in there. So I'm going to choose the correct one. 
terminate it and put it in. Right, I'm going to try and do this one handed. So this is the signal wire and that goes into well, it, NC. Okay, so I'm going to do this one handed and film at the same time. It's going to be quite tricky. I can't see what I'm doing. There you go. Right, so that will then slot. And this is the signal wire, which is going to go to the second relay into NC. Okay, so the signal wire is in NC. Don't know what that means, but that's the one that's going to go to your second relay. So let's do the, Q, the comms one, which is the power supply. Okay, so they're all nicely terminated. No frayed wires, not just poked in there. All nicely done. So recap, the communications or the comm wire, that is power supply. That's a 12 volt power supply. And the NC is to the relay. So that is the out. So comm is in, power in, and NC is power out. So what I'm going to do now is so I'm going to put this all back together. Okay, let's put the cover back on. Right. Nice and straight because that would do my head in. So all intents and purposes, now when this reaches 14.5 volts, the relay inside here, will then supply the relay at the back. So let's go into the back of the van now. Okay, in the back here, I've got my solar controller, my fuse box, that only does a couple of things, which is making the, the back here. I've got one of these horrible breakers, which is for my AUX beam controller, which is a work in progress. My Lynx power distribution, the BMV12 shunt, master on and off, and a couple of other things. So right here, we have a 30 amp relay. So I shall put a picture in of the pins and where they go. So I need to make this earth longer and go to here and the power cable also needs to go to the power the green wire that will go to the heater mat so that is power out and then obviously the red wire here that is switch power so i'm going to quickly wire this up I don't need to show you how to crimp wires. There's plenty of videos on that. So I should do this now. Okay, right. So before I connect all the relay up, it's going to check the voltages. So this wire here, my multimeter. is 14.4 volts. So the supply is coming from the relay from the back of the BMV12. This wire here <coughs> goes to the fuse board and that's the earth. So we need to change over power and that should show a negative reading. minus 14 so that's perfect so we've got 14 volts coming through power wire which is connected to the fuse there so we should probe that and we've got 14 volts there and say so green wire is a trigger wire so I'm going to take this relay off and wire it properly.
Okay, that's all wired in. So this is the green wire that will go to the heater mat. And at the moment, it's powering the light again. So the light represents the heater mat. So, as I said, this is the switch wire which comes from the BMV 12. The thicker red one is to the fuse box. Black, obviously to the negative of the fuse box. And all I've done is I've powered this wire, uh, sorry, this uh, light to the green wire. So the green wire which will go to the heater mat or any accessory that you want to be controlled by the BMV 12. That's the positive wire. And obviously the negative, which basically I've just looped into the uh, fuse board. So I shall take a screenshot of the Victron BMV 12 smart controller uh, in a open circuit and the voltages I've set it at. So. Basically, this represents the heater mat or any accessory you want to wire and have it voltage controlled by the BMV 12. So I really hope this is a sort of a simple video, an understandable video, and you can uh, use the experience that I've used, um, which I've just basically, it's trial and error and uh, apply it to your situation. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut off the engine and the light should go out. So I should just leave that. Well, I don't know where I'm going to leave it, to be fair. Right, I was going to go and turn the engine off. Right, I've turned the engine off, so I don't. Well, I actually did turn the Chinese diesel heater off, so this might stay on for quite a while. But you saw, oh, there you go. So it's turned off. So the battery voltage is now thirteen point five, and I'll put a screenshot in quickly. Right, so you can see my battery is a well, you can't really see, but it is a two hundred and twenty amp AGM battery. Uh, ignore the crocodile clips because they're just that's just like a caravan battery charger which needs to be upgraded to something a little bit more substantial. So, all I've done is cable, I've just put like crocodile clips, and that's that. The little flashing unit there is a battery smart sense, and that is stuck to the battery, um, and that gives me the temperature of the battery. So, obviously, when I upgrade to lithium. Uh, if it hasn't got a BMS, then you know I can control the battery or over or under protection or cold protection charge. So there you go. That's that little beer. That's that little uh, smart battery sense. They're about 35 quid, 37 pound, and that gives you the temperature and the voltage of the battery, which is quite handy because it all ties into solar controller and the BMV 12 and everything else. Well, I hope this video was a little bit informative. You know, the BMV 12 Smart or BMV 12 is an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. It's got a built-in relay. You can use that relay to open up a, a higher ampage relay and you can control stuff via voltage uh, up or down. I'll put a little screenshot in of my settings. Now, this is base settings, okay? So it's for a 220 amp AGM battery. So your application might be a bit different. So I'll put that in now. So as you can see, it's probably not properly set up, but it gives you some idea of what you can uh, do with the relay on the bmv 12 so anyway i hope this uh, video was informative get some kind of value i'll be absolutely uh i'd welcome any comments so put them in the comments below don't forget to click and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next video cheers
拜。